This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. So this could be a roller that's defective or the belt might have come off and it's not on the either wheel anymore. We're going to take a look. So to get in here to do the repair, I've got to get the front panel off and to do that i got to get the top off and take this off to get to some screws here. So I'm also going to be removing some screws on the front and then I can figure out what's going on. This might be a ruler. So on this stack model, this dryer will just slide out. There's nothing holding it. And I'm going to use this recycling bin to slide it onto. But you can use a garbage. These tend to be about the right, the right size. So once I get it on there, I can just wield it out. So I'm going to pull it toward me. Lift a little bit. Get it up onto this thing. And I can slide it out of here. Take the feet, feet above it. There you go. Usually in a situation like this, they've left enough gas line and vent tube and power cord so you can pull it out a little bit. But be careful as you're pulling it out. So I'm going to pull it out a little bit more. I'm just going to get to the screws behind here to take this off. So you can see that there's enough gas line, enough uh, power cord, enough vent tube. And I just have to get to the screws in the back. One's already been removed, but i got to get that one off right there. Well, on top of this thing, it's really easy to maneuver this and get it out of the way. This one screw off. Here's a Phillips head. Then I can get the top off, and then I can get to the other parts pretty easily. I'm gonna pull this back a little bit. Get the screw off. Pull it back, and then I'm gonna lift it and get it out of here now. I'm gonna slide this up and out. I think if we'll clear, clear this one area right here. Just the here is probably fine. I just had to get a couple of screws out here to take this off. So to get this off, we're just going to lift up on these little tabs. There's one. There's another. I'm going to use a standard head screwdriver to help. Okay. There we go. So just pride that up. Get this forward here. Can disconnect this one and this one. Control panel's off. Okay. Now we gotta take out these screws here. We're going to get these screws off here. Lift 
что все. Alright, so now we gotta get this bulkhead off and to do that we're going to that one that one and this one okay now we can lift we need to take out sorry one a couple more screws here that one Kind of lift up, pull towards you. Lift up at the same time. I'm gonna get this panel off first. So where do you get these screws off the top? I'm gonna take out that one and that one. Yep, there's one here. Got it. It's gonna come off now. Back up there. Okay, lift up here. Connect this bulkhead. Those came out. Do this side. Alright. Came out. Okay, let's get this bulkhead out of here. There we go. Okay. So one thing you can do is just look at these wheels. That one seems fine. And that one's fine too. They're spinning great. So it's not that... I got a feeling it might be something with the belt. Alright, there's the belt. That looks like it is on there correctly. <clears throat> Feel back there what's going on with the belt. So I'm going to move the idler wheel that way to take the pressure off. The spring's pushing it this way. I'm going to move it this way. And I can take the belt off of the lower wheel that's connected to the motor. <coughs> okay, now that's off. And now this will come out. Should we have enough room to get this out? Pull this out towards you. Create a little space for it. All right, we can see the rear wheels now. Test those out. Makes the most noise. It doesn't look very good. Something doesn't look right about that one. How about that one? No, I'm wrong. It's this one. It's the this wheel is. You can't even turn them. I mean, you gotta. It's like seized up. You have to use a tremendous amount of pressure to get this thing to move. So we're gonna replace all four of these. The two in the back and two in the front. But this is the one that was making all the noise. So here's the kit, and this comes with new idler wheel, new wheels, new belt. This is number. I think the part number is PS4133825. So the motor's fine, it spins fine, no sound, no sound there. That one's fine, but this one is very stiff. That's the noise maker. You can even see the kind of rubber debris because this thing was not moving. I'm not sure why though, it's seized up. So we're gonna replace this. We're gonna just pry up on this thing this clip off. I'm going to pull this toward us as we turn right there. That's it. So this is the one that was creating all the noise. All right, I'm going to make sure that it's nice and clean. Put the new wheel on. It's usually the inside aspect of the wheel. That bearing surface wears out. 
Here's the new wheel. Push that on. All right, so that spins really good. We'll put this clip back on, push it on until it locks into the grooves. It's done. Let me get this one off. We're going to get it up on top of those rollers so it can spin. That's, that got rid of that noise. That was a troublemaker. Here's the old belt. It's in pretty good shape, but we're going to replace it with the one that came with the kit. Just loop it over. Tumbler. Idler wheel right there. And then the slack, I'm going to bring it this way. I'm going to push the either wheel to my left and get it over the other little pulley behind this fan for the, for the motor. Now push to the right, get it over there, and lock it in. And then I'll go ahead and spin it a few times to make sure that it's locked in. You can see that the fan is spinning too. all in position. That one's in. I gotta add that screw. I'll add these screws. Even at this point though, you can turn it. Make sure that it can spin really well. And the belt's not coming off. So we're good. Now it's okay to connect the bulkhead again. Do you want to be cognizant of these electrical connectors? Here's the one at the bottom. Lock that one in. We're gonna do these other ones a little later. Let's see, I believe this one comes over this way. Lock it here. And then this one comes over. This way, lock it here. These are going to go over to the control. This one's going to come over to the door. It goes here. We have these for the bulkhead. Bulkhead's all done. I'm going to put in that metal panel right there.
Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.